Okay. I think we're alive. Awesome. Hopefully. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Books on Fire, live book sales. We are broadcasting from the center of the universe, live from beautiful Austin, Texas. Of course, everybody's going, that's not the center of the universe, but that's my way of saying, you know, that's a free growth speech. Wherever you are, that's the center of your universe. Everyone knows that. In fact, we have one guest. I think she's in Peru. Oh, well, it used to be, oops, it used to be the center of the universe, Peru, Machu Picchu, and all those people, you know. So let's just, I just want to explain that this is a Booksafi production, and it is syndicated live on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and of course from our site, booksafi.com slash live wherever you go there you are you can watch us all live and if you haven't memorized that link by the way booksafi.com slash live you better memorize it because i'm gonna say it millions of millions of times and that is a link for you to memorize for you to go to place to buy your books you know why because our main goal is to give you a different kind of book buying experience so that you will enjoy your books from get-go. That's what we call live book sales. So it sure, actually, it does beat just uh, beats the uh, looking through those tiny thumbnails trying to select a book to read, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how it works. We have quite a few uh, books and uh, a few authors uh, online. And uh, sometimes the author of the book will join us to talk about his or her book. And sometimes we'll have a professional reviewer joining us. And sometimes we'll even have the reviewer and the author joining us. But today we are only going to have the authors. So as a reader, what you have to do is you have to go to, and by the way, my teleprompter just keeps going, and I've depopped that, but that's okay. As a, as a reader, you just have to go to booksafi.com slash live, and uh, all you have to do is buy the books and download our app, which is booksafi.com slash, uh, well, anywhere you go on our website, you just scroll down to the uh, footer, you'll see the uh, links to the app, and once you purchase the books, download our app, and uh, you are going to see the books that you purchased in the app for you to read or listen. Yes, you can also listen uh, our audiobooks. So, uh, just we just try to make everything easy for everybody. Like right? I just picked up this uh, joke. Um, I think uh, it's like 1980s. Uh, uh air force it says we aim high right i just picked that up anyway so today we are going to start with non-fiction okay and follow it with a sci-fi then we are going to hop to a thriller adventure fiction okay and we're gonna have to take a little break and i'm gonna give a little message we are then going to insert a little fantasy. And next up, children's books, of course, we gotta have children's books. And after that, a little thriller suspense. And we are going to end the show with a sci-fi series. So, but before we start all this, I'm gonna make uh, two introductions. First, first one is, Somewhere, which I don't see, uh, I'll get him. This is our new mascot. His name is Texas. And uh, come on, baby. Hold on. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, he's looking for a treat. <laughs> this is our mascot. Ah, 
Go away. Okay. He speaks uh, three languages, by the way. Uh, Texan and uh, American. I call it American. And the uh, third one is uh, Turkish. And, but whenever I speak, he doesn't understand anything. He just listens to his mom. That's all. <laughs> and uh, next one, next introduction. Well, she doesn't need any introductions, but uh, one way or another, what we did uh, the last time that I announced, let me just get on my here. There you go. And this is my special co-host, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. She is an editor, also a wonderful person, Jenny Rosenblum. Um, you don't see the names underneath. So she will be featuring some of the books during the show. And she's helping me out. And uh, I really appreciate her accepting uh, to be a co-host. Can you talk, Jenny? Yes. Hi. Oh, I was just waiting you. for you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is uh, the introduction for Jenny. I'm going to turn her off. Thank uh, you. By the Hi. way, I'm not the... Yes. See you later. So, <laughs> yes, see you later. Uh, by the way, uh, she's an admin, so she can actually turn me off too. So, but <laughs> I'd appreciate it if she doesn't. <laughs> okay, so ladies and gentlemen, our first book. Let's get the uh, teleprompter working and let me get her book and see what I have is a green screen in the background. So what's happening is she is, uh, well, just picking up the background, but uh, one way or another, let me just do one of these numbers so that everybody will get it. But regardless, this is uh, the book, okay? Break free from your hamster wheel. It is, an, it is by an awesome author. It's an awesome book, and uh, and I just have a one little question. I want you to know what makes her so awesome. Let me just give you a little secret, because she is one of the top 15 coaches in Geneva, according to Influence Digest. Yes, you heard it right. Geneva, as in Geneva, Switzerland. And she is online. Of course, she wants to put some uh, couple of words into this uh, conversation. Let me just get her online here. Hold on. There we <laughs> <you> go. <laughs> oh my God! Thank you, Gurhan. You're crazy. I didn't even understand. <laughs> I was like, "What does make me awesome?" And you're just saying the 15. I was like, "Thank you so much." Really there we go. That. <laughs> I just I just saw a little sign from uh, my assistant saying Instagram is not working or something like that. So oh. yeah, Instagram is a pain in the butt uh, for some reason. So one way or another, we got the rest of the channels. We are streaming, and Good. especially for you, Julia, I'm sure LinkedIn is uh, quite important because you're in that side of the world. Not yes. Fixed. Yes. So. Sell us your book. Oh, by the way, show your book because I have a green screen. There you go. There Here it is. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> it's me. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your book. Tell us. Well, you know, I mean, the book itself is really for professionals. And I wrote right. this book coming from my experience as a team manager, business admin manager, you name it, at a multinational company called Reuters, Thomson Reuters, now changed names, I don't know how many times, where people felt stuck in their career and they didn't know how to get out. And I wanted to give them a means, a tools, techniques as well to, to see what they can do in their own power, in their own circumstances. This book is really, creating the journey for you to break free, to get out of this stuck feeling of this wonderful, you know, vicious circle that we feel in, the comfort zone, where we don't feel actually any more satisfied and fulfilled within our career, or maybe asking us these difficult questions as well, because in the book, we've got all the questionnaires, we've got tools and techniques, and it's also combines it with the mindset. I integrated as well NLP techniques, for example, facing the fears, how you cope with this, how to plan and organize. So it's a mix between practical, difficult questions, 
ways of getting out, asking yourself and finding out about yourself, because sometimes we don't even know who we are. And that's important. That's my thing. If you don't know anymore, get your values. So if you're in doubt, get your values out. That's what I'm saying all the time. And this book is really encompassing everything in a nutshell for a professional to feel themselves, know themselves, and create an action plan. Okay, awesome. So that's why it's called Break Free from Your Hamster Wheel, right? Yes. So get your mindset a little bit changed and listen to Julia all the way from Geneva, that is. Switzerland, Correct. ladies and gentlemen. Geneva, Switzerland, yes. on the mountains here. <laughs> uh -huh. There you go. And all you have to do is just go to booksoffee.com slash live, purchase the book, and download our app and read it. And let me just put a little uh, twist in there. If you want to speak with Tudia, just go to her website, which is www.intik.com, which is I-N-N-K-I-C-K, -N -N right? That's correct. Absolutely. Yes, I -N -N -K -I -C -K, and drop her a note. Well, you'll be Zooming with her, you know, all the way to your success before you know it. Right? Absolutely. Thank you, Guran. Yeah, you yes. zoom out, zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> zoom out, zoom in. Yeah, she's the lady. Just uh, give her a call and everything will be all copacetic. Great. So, and uh, in fact, we have Jenny in line. Thank you very much, uh, Julia. By the way, I want to show her name so that people will see this. Come yeah. on. Yeah, Julia. Go. This is her That's name. me. <laughs> Julia. Okay. Yes. Kurt. Kurt, Kurt means uh, wolf, by the way, in Turkish. Correct. And Julia means dream. So I'm the dream wolf, you see. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm on all social media handles. You can find me anywhere. If you just type the name, Google me, you find me. <laughs> there you go. And speak with you. All right. Thank you very much. And have a Thank nice you. party, by the way. Thank uh, you. Yep, bye bye. Bye. Okay, so what we are going to do now, as I said, I introduced Jenny, we're going to take turns. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put Jenny online. She's going to feature one of the books. And I know she can turn me off, but uh, I'm going to turn, it, turn myself. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with a sci fi today. And this is called Midnight Black. It's by R.J. Eastwood. And I do not have a green screen. These are actual real books that are in my to-be-read pile. So <laughs> this is real. Um, this book is about the main character, Billy. And Billy has been in prison for 17 years for a very brutal revenge murder. Before the murder, he was a DEA agent. He gets released three years early in the near future. So this is set anywhere in the next 10 to 20 years. Um, and part of his exchange is he has to serve parole as part of the military police force that's now in effect. But society is fighting one of the wildest conspiracies going on, if they can survive or not. And Billy is in the middle of all of this. Now, that's a general summary. I have read this. I've actually met the author. He's a really cool guy. He's won a couple Emmys for directing some documentaries, just awesome stuff. I got to tell you, this was cool because the main character, you're inside his brain for a lot of the book. So you're looking out of his eyes, you hear his internal thoughts. It just kind of ratcheted up the intensity of the story. Um, and I also, one thing that I love in all books is sarcasm. And this guy's got quite a bit that he zings out, just good humor. Um, I've heard it compared to him being a Jack Reacher character. I don't think so. I've never been able to connect with Jack Reacher, um, but I could connect with Billy Russell that was in here. This character, I think, is better, more realistic. Um, I knew who he was. So it's on Book Selfie. 
grab it while you can. Midnight Black, Eastwood is the author. And uh, have yourself a really good sci-fi read that might be a little close to our future. So, enjoy. Awesome. Uh, by the way, these books are not real. <laughs> these are totally, totally. This is my whole to be read shelves. You know, when I retire one day, this is what I'll read. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Jenny, and we'll be right back with Jenny. Uh, right now, what I am going to do is actually I'm going to introduce. Take the book and. Um, Introduce Cast No Shadow, ladies and gentlemen, back with popular demand to talk about her next book in the series. She's got a little bit more books, more books. Award winning author, Nancy Leonard, and her Cast No Shadow. And what I am going to do is I'm going to, oh, well, she's with us. She's going to be online momentarily. Here you go. And she's here. She's she's here from uh, Washington State, right? That's right. Awesome. Okay, sell us your book, Nancy. Take it away, huh? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start this by explaining where the title came from. Cast no shadow. Um, this this is a book that talks about. Two grown sons that have been manipulated and formed by a psychopathic father um, who is building an international conglomerate and is using his sons for his own, own means. Um, they descend into a black world where they're where they are starting out doing things that are illegal and it progresses on from there. Um, this is really a battle for the souls of these two young men's lives. Um, who's going to win? Um, the evil side, the evil pressure, or are they going to be able to fight that? Um, in both cases, these two young men um, reach a very, very low point. One is manipulated to physically assault and seriously hurt a young woman. And the other one in utter despair ten, um, in anger and frustration and frust um, attempts to run another young woman off the road in a blizzard. Um, in both cases, their personalities, um, their, their outlook, they are desperate um, in, and reach a bottom point um, where the, one of them in particular envisions himself getting more and more um, just shrinking, like there is nothing of him left other than what he has been manipulated to become. And he envisions himself getting smaller and smaller and smaller as he disappears until finally in the book, he wonders if he is so small that he will not even cast a shadow. Uh -huh. So that's where the title came from. Uh -huh. um, and the question that the book asks is whether they can come back or not. Uh -huh. So in a nutshell, no, that's, that's, well. that's awesome. That's what it's about. Yes. And by the way, uh, I just have to brag a little bit. Book was prepared by Book Selfie. The uh, cover and the interior design and layout and everything else. And uh, we are very happy to work with uh, Nancy, of course. Why not? Wonderful person, awesome author, and who could resist a story like this? And I have to make a comment here, though. You got to go get that uh, movie rights and things, Nancy. You just have to. The what, what movie? Movie movie rights, you know? you know. Oh, I'm actually working on it. It's another story. There you go. But yes. um, I'm actually, 
Uh, yeah, I don't know if anyone watching uh, knows, um, but these books are part of a loose series and uh, somewhere between a family saga and an ongoing series. And this particular book, Cast No Shadow, is the fourth book in the series. Um, Gurhan now has rights, publishing rights to all of them. All There are five now. Um, there's one after this one. And there's a sixth one to be published. And they are very cinematic. We'll just sort of leave it at that. But I'm actually talking with a couple um, potential screenwriter editor people. people. So anyway, <laughs> that's for another day. But, um, okay. Yes, I'm going to invite you over again. We'll talk about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, who could resist to this, guys? All you have to do is go to booksafi.com slash live, buy the book, download the app, and read the book. It is an awesome book. And I have to say, you are going to love it. So right now, let's get uh, rolling. Uh, this We're going to take a little break from the books. And I am going to give a little message from Booksafi. This act, this is actually reserved for uh, services for the readers and the authors. However, today I want to ask everybody to follow us on our social media channels, particularly by subscribing to our YouTube channel, where we need your help. Yes, we do, because when we reach to a certain number of subscribers on YouTube, we get more privileges to provide much cooler episodes. Just keep that in mind and go to youtube.com slash at sign book selfie and subscribe. And that will actually be a great help. That was the message. I certainly hope people will subscribe to our uh, YouTube. Of course, don't forget about the, our other social medias because when you do, you'll get to know a whole bunch of stuff that we put out constantly. Now, back to books. And uh, we are going to go back to Jenny. There you go. <laughs> Yay. All right. We're going into a little bit of fantasy. Now, this book here is by a local Austin author. I met him probably six or seven years ago at the Texas Book Festival where he was hawking his middle school, high school books. Kind of kept him on the fringe of my eyes. And uh, he's come out with some really cool stuff. So let me tell you about this one called The Crane and the Wolf. And I will figure out the camera honest if I will. Um, for centuries, Lady Crane has baked all kinds of goodies for the wolf on every full moon. Because if she doesn't satisfy him, then he transforms into a bloodthirsty werewolf. But now she needs an assistant. Time has passed. She's getting older. And she decides to have a contest to find a baker to take care of the wolf's needs. And if the baker can satisfy the wolf on three full moons, they get the job, the mansion, the wealth, the fame, all the good stuff. It's filled with mouth-watering feasts, action-packed ingredients, gatherings, and a bit of macabre. Now, here's my review. Think humorous fantasy. Do you watch the Great British Baking Show? I do not. And apparently, it's a big thing. Um, I'm more of a worst cooks in America. Those are my people. I stick with my people. But it takes that aspect of a contest with a lot of different characters, adds in the drama and the infighting to figure out which contestant can feed the wolf. I found myself laughing at the most inappropriate moments. <laughs> the humor was very good. The contestants and the lengths that they would go to to win a chance to feed the wolf and beat the other contestants was hysterical, devious, uh, just 
really, really a good read. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So pick up The Crane and the Wolf if you want some fun. I really would have no trouble handing this to anyone high school age or older. Um, I got all the humor. I think they would also. Um, there's nothing in here as an ex-librarian that I would be concerned about, but I really, really enjoyed it. Plus the cover, I mean, come on, check this out. Isn't that a really cool cover? He did a great job. So when you get a chance, pick up The Crane and the Wolf. Awesome. Yes, that is a cool cover, by the way. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, maybe we can uh, feature uh, some of his other books. Uh, you know, those, they, they also have good covers. Pretty yes. awesome cover. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me turn uh, off. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do, what we always do, okay, we are going to talk about children's books. Book, one book. And again, from one of my favorite authors, maybe I should put it like this or something like that because it's like a, like this. The name is Little Bit. Uh, the subtitle is A Modern Parable. Right here. Right here. Again, Greg Gordon, one of my favorite authors, and he's almost uh, not free because he's a medical doctor. He's uh, healing people and uh, making everybody happy. And at the same time, he writes these uh, children's books, you know, pretty awesome kind of guy. And uh, this one is, I'm going to read it. If I can find my glasses this time, I'm not going to read it like this because I am putting my glasses on right now. Okay. <laughs> this little pony will gallop into the hearts of both young and old alike. As you watch this story unfold, we see it parallel sound. We see it parallel sound biblical teaching. To those of us who trust and are faithful to our master, he will do with us and for us infinitely more than we would ever dare to ask and hope. Um, I guess Ephesians 3 dot uh, 20, uh, some, something from Bible. And uh, we have to mention, of course, Kelsey Davis. Awesome. Uh, let's just put it this way. Awesome illustrations. And I believe the author, Greg, dedicated this novel or this book to his uh, either father or grandfather uh, after he died. So all we have to do is go to bookstoffy.com slash live, purchase the book, you read it, take my glasses off so I can see everything, you read it, or maybe your children will read it, or maybe, much better, you read it with your children, right? So, anyway, we are going to go to the next book. And the next book is, again, we're going to take turns, right? Me and Jenny. And uh, let me just put her back online. Hold on. There we go. I'm back. There you go. <laughs> okay. My last book choice today, and I hope you can see this there, that Missing or Dead by Ellen Shapiro. Now, this is part of a series, a Tracy Marks mystery series. This is book three of her four book series. It is, while it's part of the series, you can read it as a standalone. You don't have to start with one and two. You might want to to get all the background, but Really, this one stands on its own. The story is a woman has vanished and the police have no leads. So a good friend of hers hires Tracy, who's a private investigator, to find her missing friend. Now, Tracy keeps digging deeper and deeper and she keeps just finding more and more mysteries. But people don't want her to find this vanished woman, not even the woman's husband. Tracy's running out of time. Her life is being threatened. Is she going to find this missing woman? And that's the general summary. 
So let me tell you a little thing that's very important, I think. This author um, is a, was a PI, and she had her own practice for years and years in New York. So I think when authors like that have that kind of background, the authenticity of the story is just so enriched. I've read all the books in this series. This is definitely my favorite. The authentic feel from that the author gives you, it's kind of a light thriller or what I'd call almost a cozy with a kick. Uh, not a lot of blood and gore, none of that kind of stuff but the constant mystery that she has just woven through with um, all the clues that keep coming from every direction and see if you can figure out exactly who done it. So well done, nice author, and uh, I think you should give it a try. So there we go, Missing or Dead by Ellen Shapiro. And we have another one of her books on Book Selfie too, so if you pick up this one, you can pick up the other one too. Both are good reading. Okay. Awesome. So I know Jenny is going to get used to saying this. All you have to do is go to bookstoffy.com slash fly <laughs> and buy the book, download the app, and read it. <laughs> okay, that, that's going to go in my cheat sheet that I've got taped in my computer yeah. here. Uh, believe me, I have a cheat sheet. That's what I did last week. Last week, I went to bookselfie.com uh -huh. slash live, and I bought one of Nancy's books. Uh -huh. So it was very yes. easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Jenny. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with, this is the last book. Uh, it is a sci-fi series, by the way. Not one book, a series book. Uh, by one of my favorite authors, Life J. Erickson. There you go. Let me just grab these books. This is a four book series. The name is Ghost Town. And uh, another bright point for Book Selfie. Everything is again prepared by Book Selfie. All these uh, book covers and interior design and everything else. And author. Actually, I bet you he forgot, but I sent him a text message. <laughs> and two seconds later, he's online. Now, let me put him online. Okay. There you go. Hey, how's it going? All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I caught you. <laughs> yep. It's, it's been a busy day, a lot of writing. So. Oh, oh good, good. All right. So. <laughs> What I'm going to ask you is, I'm going to, you know, the same thing that uh, I ask everybody. Please, sell the series to us. Uh, by the way, uh, one thing that I want to mention, uh, these books are on sale. Uh, I believe we lowered down to uh, 99 cents each. So as soon as life is uh, done, and you can just go and buy the books on a sale. So go ahead, Mike, uh, sell us the book. <laughs> Okay, well, the, the Ghost Town series, it starts out in a uh, small town of uh, White Rock, South Dakota, which is actually about 10 miles from where I live. So it's based on a real ghost town. And uh, in this small farming community, uh, six people have gone missing. And the local police aren't really equipped to, to deal with it. So they uh, send in an FBI agent undercover who comes in posing as a farmhand for a local family. And as he begins to investigate, he discovers that the town has a lot more secrets than anybody could imagine. And um, it very quickly devolves into uh, global consequences, we'll say. <laughs> <laughs> and the, um, they discover that, yes, there are ghosts in the ghost town. And um, it, uh, it's a pretty uh, page-turning thriller. So, Yes, I've read them all. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yep. Um, down, down to the uh, the uh, types of uh, uh, rifles and things. <laughs> yep, yep. Yes. And uh, uh. There, there's four in the four in the series right now, and there'll be uh, more books in the series coming out. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome! Yep. Uh, are you going to give us a date, or are you just going to? Um, it? It'll be next year when the next one comes out. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. That, that would be the fifth book. Mm -hmm. Yep, the fifth yeah. one. Yep, yep. 
Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. Yep. I don't need you, Oh, we heard that. Who's that? Uh, we've got uh, my three-year-old inspiration here, who's kind of shy. This is Lucas. <laughs> yes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That actually concludes. Pretty, pretty boy, I guess. A handsome boy. Or was that a boy or a girl? I don't know. Blonde, I can say, I can just say that much. <laughs> so, again, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to mention that uh, we are a lot. We are live every Saturday at 2 p.m. CST at Central Time, uh, booksofficom slash live. And the show is also syndicated live, absolutely, on five more of our social channels. If we are lucky, it's five. If we're not lucky, Instagram is off, usually off. Uh, I really don't want to start talking about Instagram. Anyway, so LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, plus our page, of course, we are live. And if you are an author, go to booksouty.com and scroll down all the way down to the footer where you will see the button that says join book selfie I'm, I'm sorry join uh, books on fire fill out the uh, form you don't have to be a book selfie author anymore and uh, we'll take it we'll take a look at it and uh, of course we're going to like your book and boom your book and yourself will be on the show at i say selling and of course promoting your book throughout all five channels now in the meantime Keep in mind that you can always find the older episodes of Books Out, you know, I'm sorry, Books on Fire on YouTube, all the episodes, and of course on our website. Now, there's a little twist. All these episodes, they are converted into podcasts and they are broadcasted on Spotify, iHeart, Amazon, Apple, Google, uh, Deezer, and then many more channels. So, until the next live one, as I said, read a book, will you? Bye-bye.